What's up guys, it's Moody. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this type of look within your photos. And I'm gonna be telling you guys what gear to use as well as how to actually do it. So if this is something that interests you, make sure you stick around for the entire video so you don't miss out on any information. The people over at Ambifold were kind enough to send me over some gear to test out. And that gear is what I actually use to create this look. And if you guys are not familiar with this type of gear, what it is called is a gobo or other people call it a snoot. But essentially what it is, is it's a light modifier that takes the light beam from your light, say a light like this, and converts it into whatever shape you have in the actual modifier itself. So the gobo that I'm using is the Ambitful AL16. And this is a very cost effective gobo compared to other gobos because gobos are not cheap. They can range from like 300 to upwards of thousands of dollars if you get like a really expensive pricey one. But this Ambiful AL16 is less than $300. In today's video, I'm gonna be using the AL16 to demonstrate how to do this type of look. Now on the topic of competitive and affordable prices, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Zyro. Zyro is the most affordable web building platform and using their templates and AI generative tools, it allows you to create your website in as little as 15 minutes. Even though Zyro is a budget friendly website builder, don't let that fool you because Zyro still offers a bunch of really powerful tools to help your website be as best as it can. They offer powerful tools like AI generative heat maps, AI generative tools, AI generative icons, tons of templates, 24 seven customer support, Support and a bunch of other things for an unbeatable price. So if you guys are in the market for a brand new website or you're creative that hasn't made a website yet, I highly suggest checking out Zyro. And for a limited time only, if you use my code Moody Darkroom or click the first link in the description below, you'll get up to three months free on any of their yearly plans as well as a free domain website as well as saving hundreds of dollars a year. So if you're considering a website, I highly suggest you check out Zyro. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. So let's talk about what comes with the AL16 and then we'll go into how to actually use this to be able to create the type of lighting that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. So the AL16 comes with the gobo itself, it comes with a gobo slide holder, and then it comes with a bunch of slides that you can put into the gobo to change the way that you're modifying the light. And not only does it come with all this, but it also comes with gels that allows you to change the color of the light that you're outputting. All of this for less than $300. Build quality is very, very good. Everything's metal or very hard plastic. Yeah, that's everything that comes with the gobo. Now let's talk about how to actually use this to get some really cool photos. Basically, all you need to do is just put this onto your light and you're ready to go and you're ready to start creating really cool looking photos. Obviously there's a bunch of different shapes that come with the gobo so playing around with them and figuring out which ones you like and figuring out how to where to project it is gonna make your photos just look way more interesting. Personally, I like to project it on to behind the model or on the model or in a way that the model can interact with the light itself. That's just the way that I like to take photos, but you can mess around with it and put it in your photo however you would like. Up until this point, I was using a projector to make my shapes and I still do from time to time, but the only limiting thing with a projector is that it's so much harder to actually move around and use when it comes to photography because Projectors are really bulky and they're very fragile and they heat up really, really hot and there's just, you know, wires are everywhere and it's just like, it's a mess to, to work with. With this gobo, I literally just slap it onto any of the lights that I currently have and I already have the shape that I want to use. Now I'm not saying I'm not gonna use my projector, I still do use my projector for a lot of things because the gobo is limited to the shape that you can put in front of it. The projector is kind of limitless, but when it comes to like easy things like a spotlight or like a, sliver or like a window shade or something. Um, the gobo is just gonna be my go-to from now on because it's one, I can use it with any light and now that I have some more powerful lights, you know, I can throw it on with 300 watt and get a much brighter light. And two, it's just a lot smaller and easier to bring around with. And that's what I really like about this gobo is that it's pretty small and it allows you to really open up what you can do with creative lighting, which as you guys know, I love to do creative lighting. So when Ambiful reached out and said they wanted to send me one, I was like, heck yeah, let me go ahead and shout them out for that because I've had a lot of people ask me what this is in my recent uploads on Instagram and on TikTok. And I wanted to go ahead and make this video dedicated to it just to show you guys what gear I use. But at the end of the day, I'm able to create these really cool effects because of this gobo. And yeah, I think that about does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions about this modifier, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to answer all of your questions. If you guys are curious on where you can purchase this, I'll leave some links in the description as well. So you can pick up your own gobo and start messing around with light and creating really, really cool photos yourself. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and like it really just helps the channel grow i appreciate every single one of you that does and if you're not following my social media make sure you follow me at moody darkroom that's on tiktok instagram twitter literally everything that you can think of i'm on there so go over there and give me a follow if you guys like to stay up to date with my photography and 
And yeah, I think that about does it for this video. Thank you to Ambitful for sending me this over to play around with. And thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. See ya.